So Penella has said that I can share with you that she got married last week and got married in Queenstown last week. So congratulations. Thank you. If you get a chance, you should look at the photos. They are beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> So now back to the golf. You've played a lot, which is which is a shame, really, because we're yeah. going to talk about weddings and dresses and hair and everything. But we'll just we'll go with the golf. How is your game? What's what, what shape is your game in? Are you? So I I worked really hard uh, this the start kind of end of December, start of January after taking a little bit of a break there after last season, and I was really even though my score didn't show it really at the Diamond Resorts our first event in Orlando, I just had a really rough start the first day. I needed to get the the rust uh, off I guess, but the rest of the week you know I really was happy with the progress I saw in my in my long game. I was hitting the ball much more solid than I had in a long time. So I know that the things that I've chosen to work on now or uh, me and my coach have chosen to work on are really uh, working uh, however uh, my last two weeks now uh, with the wedding and I actually had a quick trip to Sweden the week before for an award show uh, it's not been my normal prep so going into to this week I have to say that I'm not sure where my form is really at but uh, I, I have my coach with me here this week, so hopefully I can get you know some good practice in over just this couple of days, and I'll be ready to go by Thursday again. But uh, really, I'm uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy to see what we've been working on, but we, I'm not sure it's going to be all there this week, just because of the different prep. But that's a once in a lifetime thing. It's a good reason to not come in fully prepared. <laughs> well, sometimes a newlywed that you you come from a different area now, so that is something, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you know, for most golfers coming in with uh, lower expectations yeah. uh, um, is usually a good thing so that's kind of what I'm trying to balance right now too. Terrific. Questions please. So just on that, Vanilla, could it free you up? You, I mean, you've obviously been thinking about your wedding day for a long time. Could it free you up? I don't even know that You've got things to do off the course when you work. Uh, yes and no, but at the same time, we we've kept it so simple with the wedding. You know, we really haven't. We started to really book everything and prepare back in October, so it's not been. You know, the set date hasn't been there for very long, so it hasn't taken up too much time. And uh, but at the same time, it's just. Uh, Obviously, uh, it was an incredible week, incredible day. So it's just kind of this happy, happy vibe that I can just kind of keep going on instead. <laughs> so walk us through it. You're in Queenstown, high up above the lake, where you? Yeah. So uh, what we did is it was a heli wedding. Uh, so uh, we had eight guests there with us, just parents and siblings, and uh, we we jumped in two helicopters and from Queenstown and went up to Wanaka. It was about a 20 minute helicopter ride and it was actually my first time in a helicopter ever so that's kind of cool when people ask me now if I've ever been in a helicopter I can say yeah my wedding day uh, mm. so um then we had gorgeous weather, uh, had a photographer and a wedding celebrant with us uh, coming up there and we did the ceremony on, uh, it was called Coromandel Peak, right next to Mount Roy, overlooking Wanaka, overlooking Lake Wanaka and then Mount Aspiring that had still lots of snow on it uh, on the other side. So just uh, really cool, cool views uh, and it was just such a fun day. and. Uh, uh, then uh, headed back to down to Queenstown and just had a, a nice dinner with the chef coming to our house in the evening. So it was just exactly the way we wanted it, kind of low key and just uh, neither one of me or Daniel get to spend much time with our families. So it's just a nice way to, to spend some more time with them too. I was just told that your husband's going to caddy for area this year. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Uh, and Yes, exactly. And but he's on my bag this week. Okay. Uh, it's just the one. It, it's how we spend our honeymoon together. Uh, no, it was just she. Arya was never planning on playing this event, and uh, I, uh, my caddy, he has a little baby girl at home. So I said, if you don't want to start off the season of being gone from uh, the family for four weeks, we could do it this way. So uh, now it's just that one week back together for me and Daniel this week. And what happens if you go down the stretch of a major with? area uh, in contention with you as well? Uh, I mean, we're, we're both professionals, so uh, obviously uh, uh, it will probably f 
it probably will feel more, most weird for him, I would say. Uh, you know, for me, I'll still be my same same competitor out there. But that's what made A and A more special. The obviously being able to do it together. But it will be pretty cool for me to be able to to see that I can I can do it uh, without him on the back too. <laughs> <laughs> Penella, you mentioned earlier this is your third Vic Open. Um, you've obviously seen the growth of the Vic Open significantly just in three years, opposed to kind of the six years that it's been down here at, at thirteen. Beach is word starting to spread in the LPGA locker room around what this event actually is and the equal prize money, etc. Absolutely, and uh, it's almost I felt like um, you know it wasn't announced until pretty late in the year that it was going to become an LPGA event. So I think if we and since then it's kind of been off season. So I feel like if we had had a little bit more time to really talk about it, um, I think more girls would uh, probably really gotten the idea and been told what, what this event is all about but I'm sure after this year now now we actually have a full year hopefully going until next year and um, spreading the word and I think you will see the strength keep uh, getting better because uh, I I've been telling girls you know the last few years what a what a cool experience it is it's just different every day you're out there you look up and you have guys in the group in front of you and guys in the group behind you and uh, it just it just nice to show uh, I mean other big tours in the world that it's possible to, to do an event like this. Have you had any of your uh, of your fellow colleagues, your players that have been talking about the fact that there's not really any ropes around the course and how different that might be for them? Uh, it's actually nothing I've talked about uh, with anyone uh, so far now. I mean I, I have mentioned it uh, earlier years maybe when I've got, come back to the LPJ event after or LPJ events after this week and what I have told them is just you wouldn't believe how respectful the crowds are. I said, I've played there now for two years. I cannot remember one time when I've asked someone to move or stand still. So, I mean, if someone would ask me, that's what I would tell them too, uh, if they are you know, worried or concerned about it. And, but I just think that gives that extra special vibe to this event. What's it been like for you? We all saw you on television win your major and your first LPGA tournament, I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was obviously huge for you. What's it been like for you after that to keep playing and keep the momentum? Uh, it was uh, it was a very hectic 2018. After that, that's for sure. Um, I think uh, it was. I mean, it was obviously amazing. I said yes to everything for probably a couple of months uh, afterwards, uh, and I probably had to pay for that later on in the year. But I, if I had to go back, I would still do the same thing again. Uh, it was just such a cool experience to to be able to, you know, get all these extra opportunities that I hadn't had before. But uh, at the same time, I think the toughest thing for me was almost to. You know, going into last year, I had my goals, and just with one tournament, I suddenly kind of ticked a bunch of those goals off. And it was so early in the season, so it was hard to sit down in the middle of the season and kind of rewrite those goals. And that's something I struggle with the rest of the year. And uh, obviously, I wanted to to win more, but it just, yeah, it was hard to really have those same kind of structured goals. So it wasn't until I could kind of tick 2018 off, sit down for the off season, uh, evaluate, reevaluate going into 2019 that I finally could take that breather and uh, really figure out what my goals are going forward. So it's that was kind of something I battled throughout the rest of the year, but I mean everything else was just obviously so positive. <laughs> Any more questions ladies and gentlemen? No. Thank you. Thank you so much in kind of having a word with us and many congratulations from everybody. Thank Have a you wonderful so much. week. Thank you. Thank you.